My dentist says brushing alone isn't enough to avoid dental problems. Act Total Care mouthwash rebuilds enamel and kills bad breath germs. To help avoid dental problems, act daily. And try new act, featuring SpongeBob SquarePants for 40% less cavities. 10 game win streak for UConn. And since that loss at Stanford on December 30th, the only close game at Notre Dame in a Big East contest seen on CBS Sports January 8th, UConn won by three. And a tight one tonight as we check in Debbie with our AT&T game summary. Well, you see Maya Moore had 12 first half points. She's got 12 in the second in Connecticut. Still shooting it well after shooting it over 52% in the first half. Offensive rebounds and extra possessions belonging to West Virginia, but here's Maya Moore. The extra effort over the top right there. And then look how she creates separation with a ball fake and a foot fake. Nice touch pass to Dolson, who's had a tremendous face-up game. And then with contact, Maya Moore getting to the free throw line. Maya Moore 12, West Virginia 18 here in the second. Wow. Now in four career games against the Mountaineers, 25, 16, 15, and 10 in that order. The last time they played in the Big East Tournament Final, and it was a blowout by UConn in Hartford. 60-32 for the tournament title over the Mountaineers. She only had the 10 points, so big night tonight, 24. Heading to the free throw line here. As another. West Virginia's got to look to push, expect Connecticut to maybe show a little token pressure, make them work into the shot clock. Hits the second, 25 for Maya tonight. The active scoring leader in the NCAA, Gentile Lavender of Ohio State behind her. Rappella's got Dixon on her. Oh, great help by Dolson. Bad choice by Miles. Mike Carey's about to go into the fifth row. He's so upset. Can't turn it over off the timeout. That hurts. Dolson, watched by Bussey. Just over three to go, second half. UConn trying to hang on and win its 61st straight Big East game. Dixon knocks over Rappella. Fans want a foul, they won't get it. Here's Maya Moore, gets a screen. Fake. Can't get the roll this time. Did everything but go in the basket. Rebound, Ali. Haven't seen very much on ball for Liz Rappel, and part of the reason why is because she's not getting the ball at all. The no catch defense has worked, and the face guard has worked. Harley Ali cut amongst the trees. Rappel, a tough shot. Can't get a roll, and a foul is going to be calling Jessica Harley over the back. I like Sarah Virginia Miles' idea of getting the ball to repel a little bit earlier and allow the bigs maybe to come out and set some screens. Mike Carey told us to look for that in the second half, but we haven't seen it. 16 foul on the Mountaineers. They're showing pressure here. And there's the game reset. One more. And UConn shooting the one and one. Hayes has fouled out. Hartley has four fouls, but UConn remains so calm in the midst of a lot of trouble tonight. The Mountaineers have given them with a tough defense. Watch Connecticut go to their motion game. You won't see a lot of screening action here. What you'll see is a lot of change of pace basket cutting. Moore runs right into Ali, and she is fouled. Foul Great sell by Maya, Maya Moore as well. Watch Maya Moore's acceleration, change of pace, her desire to want the ball when the game's on the line. Look how she'll set up the defense, set a screen. It's a read. It's not necessarily a call. It's Gino Ariema teaching his players not to run plays, but how to play at the end of the game. Taylor Palmer getting some playing time here late for WVU. These one numbers, the best in the conference for Maya Moore. Up to 27 for the night. Big East Player of the Week again for the seventh time this year already. Palmer's got it. 
Under two to go, second half. Mountaineers got to have something here. Rapella trying to make it happen way short. Raises the front iron, rebound Hartley. Mountaineers trying to foul, trying to apply some pressure. Another thing happens here. You got to make sure you get a stop right here. And Maya Moore will have the ball late in the shot clock. Dolson, the freshman. Who's got it? Maya Moore, late in the shot clock, as Debbie said. Doesn't get this roll. It did everything again but go in, but Dolson hustles. Put back, not there. And a push call. It's going to be against UConn. As Ali got shoved down hard. Well, that's a good break for foul West Virginia. Stop NBA the clock, go to the free throw line. Dolson, her second team foul, number nine. Second foul on the 6'5 freshman center from Fort Jervis, New York, just outside New York City. Stephanie Checking Dolson. For the Mountaineers, number 14, Jessica Harley. Well, Gina Oriam and his staff have done a terrific job with Stephanie Dolson. Imagine the amount of pressure that young lady had on her to try to fill the shoes of Tina Charles and not necessarily fill the shoes. It wouldn't really be fair to say that. But she certainly made herself an efficient player. She's made her body efficient. It's allowed her to play extended minutes and all that extra cardio that she's putting in the time for during the week is paying off. Holly hits two. It was 17 for the night. You know, Riemma said the improvement has been so dramatic with Dolson. We need more of that in the final minute of play. And she learns as a freshman center of the Big East. 15 to shoot, of course, Maya's got it. And that's where Maya's invaluable. The end of the shot clock, when you need a play. Ferris, Rhea Hartley from 15, banks it home, the freshman converts a huge shot. 140 seconds, eight point game, Bussy. Mountaineers can't waste too much time, and Dolson fouls Asia Bussy on the way up. Connecticut, number 31, Stephanie Dolson, her third. Third foul on the freshman. Ten. Ten team fouls now on UConn in the second the half. Bussy will shoot a couple here. All freshman pick a year ago. Now a streak of 15 straight games with a blocked shot. She really has had a factor defensively for the Mountaineers this year. These are free throw shooting now, about 63% from the line coming in. And you got to expect a effort for a steal and then a foul. Hits two. Mountaineers need a foul. Mike Carey is calling for it. And Sarah Miles executes finally. Well, you can't. Seconds. West Virginia, number five, you, know, Dan, Miles, you cannot have second, four players foul, defending and guarding and allow Dolson just to catch it, elbow extended, without any pressure. Checking in for West Virginia, Corinne Campbell and Taylor Palmer. It defeats your purpose of trying to deny. Replacing Jessica Harley and Medina Ali. At the line for the Huskies, Bria Hartley shoots two. So what should they have done there? Well, I think Bussy should have been up here guarding Dolson. <laughs> Didn't happen. Foul sends Hartley to the free throw line. Freshman rattles out the first, repel the rebound. Mountaineers with life down six. Thinking about two here. Miles can't get a roll. Ferris the rebound, and she's fouled hard under the basket. Uh, Ferris on the Big East all ice bath team. Does a great job of getting a key rebound. No foul call.